Today we're breaking down the Steph Curry Under Armour Curry 4s. Let's go. What's good everyone? Welcome back to the channel. It's Zach here with Tamsters Kicks. We're breaking down the Under Armour Curry 4s. These are not the Floatro model. These are the OG 4s. They brought them back. And I copped the colorway to show you guys what I feel about them. I did have that Curry 4 Floatro video if you guys want to check that out as a comparison of these ones. But we're breaking these down, these bad boys today. If you guys haven't seen a video from me, we're going through traction, cushion, support, materials, fit, all that good stuff. That'll be later in the video. These bad boys, the Curry 4s, are crazy. The Curry line started to really pick up around this time. We had um, these debut in the 2018 NBA Finals. Um, they retail at 150 and... Steph Curry was all for these ones when they first came out. He liked this high top, this high knit sock, because he had a ton of ankle problems in his career. So that's why a lot of his Curry shoes started out as high tops, and he kind of has transitioned as we know now, like the Curry 10s, 9s, and he's like, he's worn um, like a specific ankle brace now, and he has that kind of low cut. He likes how that plays on his ankles, and so yeah, that's why it's kind of transitioned into a different low top shoe, but Breaking down these bad boys with that knit sock upper, it's kind of crazy. 150, let's break them down. The traction pattern is a cross pattern and multi-directional. So you can see with early Under Armour models, I like to compare them to some of my favorite ones, like these new like 10s and 9s. You can kind of see him start to curve up on the sides here. He does that a lot with the 10s and the 9s. And you can kind of see it a lot here, but mainly in this heel part, you can see that kind of rounds out here. It's a very interesting multi-directional like pattern because a lot of shoes around this time, a lot of basketball shoes really, they have this one um, pattern in the forefoot area as well as back here in the heel and then they kind of have some different patterns all along. And this one has basically that same thing. It's kind of rounded though in spots and it has like this grid design here. It's, it was kind of like a predecessor for like what they're doing now with a lot of the traction patterns that like cover a bunch of ground in a bunch of areas on the shoe. So the traction pattern is pretty solid. It's definitely not like my favorite traction pattern, but like playing in it, it was pretty solid and it felt like it had a really good like court feel to the shoe as well. So pretty good. The cushion is composed of the original Eva foam midsole. So on top of that, um, Eva foam midsole, which is kind of like Under Armour's pre like kind of basic midsole cushion that they have. They have a full length speed plate in here too. It's kind of similar to like Nike's Strobel full length that they do in their shoes. Definitely not the same, but just like kind of like similar vibes with the full length cushion system in there. Cushion was not bad in these. Like I was expecting, my expectations were really low because of how like well I love playing in the Floatro models, but it, it wasn't really that bad. It combined nice with the uh, outsole and especially with like the materials in the upper two, I felt like it was a pretty cohesive design and like comfort wise it felt good. Not my favorite though. I really definitely prefer the like new Floatro models with these, especially even on the Curry Floor 4 Floatros. Those were wild with that nice soft um, cushiony outsole. So that's what I prefer. The materials has a knit internal sleeve sock to keep you locked in. So you have that knit internal sock here with the materials. You have like a quarter sleeve as well on here that goes around this green part. You have that one cohesive unit with the knit. And if you guys have seen a shoe review video with kind of like similar uppers like this, I don't prefer the knit sock. And I actually really enjoyed it on the Curry 4 Floatros because I felt like it helped you like cohesively, the shoe stayed together very well. And with the Floatro, you had insane court feel. But like support wise, I don't feel like it's very good. You're not like held in very good. I feel like it's super like bendy, even though it's a nice tight compact knit upper for like my playing style as a guard. I feel like it's not that good. So I, just, I primarily like to stay away from this stuff, but the materials are breathable. They feel nice. When you tie the shoe, however, one thing I want to mention is when you would tie it, I'd tie them a little tighter, I guess, but it would kind of bend and like curl that tongue right here so it was like kind of you could kind of notice it sometimes but not really it wasn't a big deal but materials are still super lightweight on there and i like them but just kind of not something i prefer with that high sock upper the fit is definitely a true to size fit not like much dead space anywhere in the shoe um the only thing i would say is i kind of mentioned it with the materials you have a little bit right here with this sock upper but that has a lot of factors to do with like if you're what kind of sock you're wearing under it if you're like a wider um, tying your shoes like tighter, like anything like that can kind of sway this part. But like as far as other parts in the shoe, not a lot of dead space. Finally, the support, I kind of talked a little bit about it in the material section as well, but like support, 
is just kind of not my favorite. I like lower cut shoes. I feel like you have more control. I feel like the court feel is better. But as far as like a knit upper, I do love the construction of this with that outsole and midsole combination. It works really good on the, the Flotro models with that foam. And I think it's pretty solid on this one. It, it's just not my favorite. So if you do like that, not that like knit upper here and you like playing in that and your style fits to that, this is definitely a solid shoe as well as the Flotro models of these, but I'm just not a big fan of this sock upper, so not for me. Traction and cushion, we're giving it both an eight out of 10. It's like a solid shoe, like it gets it done. You can definitely tell that Under Armour was just getting traction, gaining traction for their Curry line, for their basketball shoe line, really. And it's just not like overwhelmingly impressive. I like some of the outsole aspects on here, I like the toe, or the toe cap, how it comes up a little bit. And they were getting into some good things on this, but not a big fan of it. Another thing with the cushion too, is you do have this medial plate right here, which kind of helps a little bit. You can see the curve of the outsole as well. Plays into like that cushion and outsole together, but just not a lot going for it. Just kind of basic system. Materials and fit, we're giving both those an eight out of 10. The materials definitely aren't bad. They're pretty breathable. And if I like this knit upper more, I'd be way bigger fan of it. But I'm not the biggest fan, and the fit was pretty solid everywhere. Not a lot of dead space, so that was pretty good. And the support, eight and a half out of 10. Like, I do gotta give it a pretty decent support rating, even though I don't like the upper on it for my playing style. I feel like it does really good. You also have this, like, little, little bulb here. Kind of helps a little bit with the ankle traction and, like, give on the shoe as well while you're playing. So, overall, the traction was nice. Support was okay. Like, it's just, like, kind of like a basic shoe. I feel like Under Armour really picked up momentum and made some fire models for Steph, but... That's the Curry Under Armour 4s. Let me know what you think about these bad boys coming back. Hopefully we continue to see Under Armour bring back the Curry lines. I want to get some more of those older shoes in, but yeah, that's it. We'll see you guys on the next one.